The Phoenix Suns are in LA tonight, taking on the Clippers. This will be a rematch of the season opener. Phoenix won that game by a score of 116 to 113. The Clippers covered and the total went over the number. Can we expect a similar result here on Halloween? Well, we're gonna talk about it, but before we do, I gotta tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get 30 days, all access NBA, less than $5 a day. This promotion is available for any of the great handicappers at wagertalk.com. That includes this guy right here. And you're looking at the number one NBA profit handicapper in the calendar year of 2024. Also number one with player props dating back to 2021. That's when I joined the company. I have a long history of dominating the NBA. Recently published an article on my uh, Twitter page worth look, taking a look at. Uh, as always, though, there's no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep putting out these videos. Phoenix will be a four and a half point favorite. The total is sitting at 224 and a half. And what's significant about those numbers? Well, that is the exact same line as we saw in the season opener. I mentioned the Clippers got the cover. It went over the total. Can we expect the same result? And I'm going to say no to both of those. Uh, what I didn't mention when I gave the uh, score of the season opener, that game went to overtime. Neither of these teams went over 100 points in regulation. Uh, both these teams play at a particularly low pace of play or a below average pace of play. They both average roughly 104 possessions per game and both are above average defensively. Uh, the Clippers rank six in opponent scoring. They're allowing just 108 points per game. The Suns rank 12th. They're allowing 111 points per game. And this is quite a different situation. Uh, the uh, Clippers are playing the second game of a back-to-back. -back. James Harden, what is he, 40 years old? We can't expect him to be uh, running at the same pace when he's uh, playing the second game of a back-to-back. -back. He might see limited minutes. Um, Bradley Beal for the Suns might not play tonight because of an elbow injury. By the way, I mentioned Bradley Beal being on the wrong side of 30 in uh, the video for the season opener. And somebody chimed in saying, I quote, at 31 years old, Bradley Beal is considered on the wrong side of 30. And I laughed because, uh, I mean, do you know what the wrong side of 30 means? That means any a day, a day older than 30 uh, is the wrong side of 30, technically. And uh, while some players might be great in their early 30s, you know, the likes of Michael Jordan and LeBron James, uh, Bradley Beal's missed 20 to 30 games for the last five seasons. So certainly he is on the wrong side of 30. Um, I mentioned in the last video that the Suns are the favorite to win this division and the Clippers are the favorite to finish last in this division. I said that I'm, I'm a little bit uh, skeptical of the Suns because I, do, I don't think they can stay healthy, but I don't think they're going to miss Bradley Beal here. Uh, their best game so far was a double-digit win over the Dallas Mavericks at home, and Bradley Beal didn't play that game. Ryan Dunn came in to start, scored 13 points. All right, I guess. Uh, Royce O'Neal pick up the slack. I think the Suns are in pretty good shape here. In the last game, I took the Suns minus four and a half. I took the under, and I took Tyus Jones, the point guard, uh, points and assist prop. The prop was the only thing that won. Uh, the total got burned in overtime, and the Suns failed to cover. This is a better spot for the Suns. So we're coming back with Phoenix, minus four and a half. I think that's great value, considering it was the same line as the previous matchup. And in this case, the Clippers playing the second game of a back-to-back. -back. The under should have cashed last time with neither team going over 100 in regulation. We're going to hope to avoid overtime this time and go under that 224 and a half. And if you can get a, a good number on Tyus Jones, somewhere uh, 16 or under for the combined points and assists, I would go with that. We don't see a line yet. That's why I haven't listed it. But keep an eye on Tyus Jones as well. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.